Which one am I going to? Oh, right. So oh, you still, still have a choice of sketchbooks to pick from now? Like, it's only been, like, like three, three months, months of this year. <laughs> so this one, I totally forgot I had this one. This one's actually, so let's go back in time a little bit. This one is March 29, 2017. I Unfinished? Time. Till, so, till so, this day, so, today? So. Yeah, it's not done yet. It's because it's, okay. it's really big, and I want to use this as my, uh, I want to turn this into my oil painting. <laughs> You you what sorry? sorry. Oh, oh your oil, oil paintings. Paint. Yeah. Okay. So this one's pretty big. This is a. Wow, that's a, a lot of hands, man. A four plus, yeah. This is a four plus. So for Americans out there, it's eight by eleven, or eight by twelve inches. So yeah, this is my hand study. So this one has a lot of studies in it. A lot of experimentation too. It was nice being able to draw big, but I feel more comfortable in a smaller sketchbook. So. <laughs> the one, the one on the previous page, the blue fish looks very sad. <laughs> oh, I, I grabbed the wrong like, pen. Oh. I put the wrong cap on the wrong pen. I wanted to do like a. <laughs> I remember this one. Just looks like a random thing you would do, like. Uh, look at her! Look at her! She's like a total punk, like. The pose on the left, like kind of turn, like was sick. Twist. Yeah. Oh, these are like some soldiers. I tried to draw Japanese soldiers for imagination. Nice, nice grenade. Dancer again. Uh, ice skater for imagination. Oh, have you seen the the Olympics ice skater right right now? The uh, the Hong Kong one. No, I have not. Man, they're they're amazing. I should, cause I, I love how they do like how their bodies twist and how they turn their bodies and stuff. It's very mm. very cool. Oh, sorry. You yeah. alright? Yeah. <laughs> choking, choking out. <laughs> I almost choked my own spit. Some of these are just like rushed, but you know what? The idea is there. It's like some techno. Genji. I mean, I guess you'd never know your real pace if you didn't rush a few of them. Like. That's true. It's good to do that, I think. Fishing I guess girl. I don't know. <laughs> Fishing girl. Nice uh, backward shades. <laughs> this this is when I went out to some with some friends. I think we went to a, a marketplace called Mitsuwa Marketplace, and it's like a Japanese marketplace, but you can eat there as well. Oh, nice man. And these are some people there. This is my friend. Yep. Yeah, she's sitting across from me. Some other poor people. I went back to pencil. I kind of, I kind of got tired of the brush pen. Yeah, it does. It takes out of you to be too far. Like, yeah. I mean, not really. It depends what if what you're drawing. Like, if you enjoy, what you, which you should be, you know, enjoy what you're drawing. We were playing this game where you, that, would, you would draw a shape so, and then put like faces so in it. So a toothbrush, two electric toothbrush. What's that? This, yeah, oh yeah, that's my toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> so I. The shaver. We were playing. <laughs> we were playing this game where you would draw uh, shapes and then you put faces <laughs> in it, right? So. That's where a lot of these came from. I would like the rest of your sketch pad pad to be um, super bad drawing. <laughs> oh, this is some figure. Nice drawing. Don't. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Leslie, man, you want to take a break? You can go have a nap. No, we're almost nap. done. I swear. <laughs> uh, well, I guess like kind of looking back at your drawings, and is it do you think you're gonna find something you like about what you've done, or and carry it on a bit more? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there are some aspects I like, like how I use this tan color pencil, and I went over it with black color pencil. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Some stylized life drawing. Yeah. That one's definitely got the strap beard going on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually before the one you just saw. A lot of the stuff you just saw. This is back in the early 2017. So 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just totally no, forgot. No, no, I knew, I knew that. You saw, you saw that. Yeah, I'm sure I had this one. I'm sure I had this one. Alright. This is some like... <laughs> to face this. Oh, look how like oh, snazzy. Hike. She's like... Hike it. Yeah, man. Oh. I forgot you even did this stuff. Like... Just practicing stylization, how I can render it. Paper. Well, that's it. Who's your favorite character artist at the moment? Dude, I don't know. There's too many good ones. I can't just point. Pick, um, pick like two. Ah, uh, two. <laughs> um, yeah. Shoot. I'll start uh, for me. Um, Min Jung Kan, the Kangoon. You know, the Korean girl. Yeah, yeah. She's like number one, actually, for me. Okay. Okay. All right. I like Claire Wendling. And mm, definitely. so many good, I don't know, man, just so many good character designers. I still haven't discovered. I think it's like, yeah, it's like certain qualities that I like got of each of them, though, you know? Mm -hmm. well, like more. And then you come across like an artist like Claire Wendling, and she manages all of the those different angles, different kind of poses, and it's like, wow, you, you just got the full package. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't really learn anything from this one. <laughs> it's just um, shoot. too much. So too much goodness. Like, I like Mon Arenas, but he's more of like he's not really much of a character guy. I don't so, know. Just... How do you how do you say that? M A N and then arena yeah. like arenas. Man arenas. Yeah. He does cool stuff. I think he does stuff okay. me. This is life drawing. Oh I like this one. This one's huge. Definitely nice. getting demonetized. <laughs> I just love saying that. Bravo. Some kind of like medieval guy sketches. I, someone went in and drew a wiener in here. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't showed, lie. I showed someone. I, I swear, it's not even like the same pencil. Look. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> You've got to have some balance to all the boobies. Yeah. Lots of stuff, man. Mm. This is that figure drawing, life drawing, I mean. Some say croquis. I'm not sure how to say that word. I, yeah. Croquis? Yeah, croquis. just messing around with how I would render with pencil. I like this one. This one's I like that too. Cool. Yeah, really like playing around with like the uh, or figuring out the weight of everything. Yeah, kind of. She's, she's also uh, looks. I mean, not. She, it also looks very like classical. I guess. Oh, this one's good too. Mm. Yeah. I did draw a lot. So I, I like how you don't like go too academic with like, because life drawing you could be like you know take about one hour to do a long pose or something. Mm -hmm. What we'll like, go like at atelier like what what's atelier kind of approach? Oh yeah. I what's it, what's your view on that? What's my view on that? That's a good question. Um, I think it's good if you want to. I think it's very good for learning how to doing painting and stuff like that. But I think yeah. it leaves a little, little bit room to be desired for inventive figure drawing. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or you disagree? What's your thought on it? No, because I, I kind of, yeah, figuring out like the the mark making, uh -huh. kind of to build up a, a a drawing or like figure out how to paint it later on in the later stages. So I'm just like throwing down shadow shapes and throwing down like the structure of things, how it relates to the shapes that are in front of me. And it's like, it's very abstract in a way, because you're not like just drawing a figure flat on, are you, or from the profile, like the side profile, like perfectly. Mm -hmm. So a, like a head that's turned like a certain way is like, it's always different. There's always minute differences. So yeah. I yeah. just see the whole thing as like a bunch of like abstract marks now <laughs> that I'm trying to make a piece of paper and it's like 
Yeah, drawing is like hard, but I'm slowly doing more and more of it, like bridging the gap between drawing and painting. I think that's the big Yeah, me too. Big thing. I've I recently been doing mm. that a little bit more. Um yeah, so I you see my, my you saw my early twenty fifteen sketchbook, I was doing a lot of like the Watt style stuff with the shadow shapes and stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of yeah. moved away from that, and I started doing more like, all right, I'm gonna try to stylize this figure in front of me, right? Yeah, that's it. totally what's stopping me from stylizing, though. You know, like trying to kind of be with that approach. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like this is more beneficial to me. It's just like my feeling. Um, it's hard to explain, but if I was if I wanted to do a lot of figure painting, I would definitely do yeah. Watt style. Or Riley method style stuff, yeah. You draw way more than you paint, dude. I paint. I probably draw a thousand times, one thousand drawings to every one painting I make. Are you are you counting digital painting? Like, I don't know anymore. I'm just. I've seen so many sketches from you in the past. <laughs> I can't. I'm just. I think that you paint a, a little bit like, or well, everyone does and should, I guess. <laughs> draw. Drawing, that is where it starts. Oh, here we go. I started doing some, uh, I brought my brush pen to life dry. Nice. Some leaners, you know, to balance out the boobies. Yeah, definitely, man. We yeah, this guy was definitely a hench built. Is he, is he wearing a nappy? Oh, I tried to turn him into like a, a soldier or something like that. Okay. Yeah, instead of just drawing him naked. Some more of that stuff. Nice expression. Oh yeah, I think you asked Keith. me you asked me <laughs> yeah. to draw you to say Keith. <laughs> Keith. Remember. Do you remember this? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. I was going through like a Street Fighter phase, I was just doodling there's a Street Fighter. This one, I like this one here. Nice. This one here is really good as well. I did the sketch. Look at that rib cage. Check it out. I did cool. the sketch here and then I freehanded it on this side. So Oh that's a good idea. So that way I can like if I forget something, I'm just looking on this side. <laughs> oh, and then no, that's it for this one. Um okay. So uh, where do we go from there? That's right. Amazing. Do you want to take um not a break, but like a little point where you reflect on everything you've just seen because like right now it's like I've been driving in a very fast car. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, so with, what you, with the hood down. What do you think so far? I, I'm just curious. What do you think? So like your think? evolution has been crazy. Like, and it started off really strong as well. Like a lot. Do you have any sketchbooks where you have bad drawings now? <laughs> I showed some. I think some of these are awful. Um... I guess that's I true. think you can, I think you're hiding things. I swear I'm not hiding anything. Uh, those are sketchbooks I have. Uh, I used to have a sketchbook from high school. I'm trying to find it, and it was just full mm. of Naruto drawings, and it was absolutely <laughs> horrendous. But you know, I yeah, think. no, but it's cool that you've had very strong beginnings as well. I don't I don't get to see that a lot from, I guess people around me, I don't know, they've just kind of doodle around or fall into a style and it's, um, I don't know, you've got, you've obviously got a goal in mind, like where you want to be, like you said, you want to do those splash images for Blizzard and you didn't want to do characters before, but now you've like really fallen in, fallen in love with them. Yeah, I don't know, I just like, I felt, I just felt it came into like my strong suit, it was, it was really weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like sometimes you don't know what you want to do, you know? That's why it's hard to explain. Yeah. But sometimes you just do something and you're like, wow, this is really fun. And when I was drawing like environments <laughs> and like uh, doing like concept art, I, just, I wasn't having any fun. But some people love doing that stuff, you know? They, they love designing concepts, you know? I like, yeah, yeah. I like finished illustration, you know? I, I like stuff like, Paul, let me get a book. I think I'm trying to do both, you know, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if like both is like feasible, like doable <laughs> at the end of the day. But yeah, but no, I don't know.
Yeah, I was totally listening to you. I just went to get a book. Like stuff like this is like amazing. Like Shadow Lines by Ian McKeg. Uh, I never got that one actually. That's cool. Look at this. I know I'm totally taking deeds for but look at this stuff. So juicy. Just like man. I, then when I yeah. saw stuff like this, I'm like, that's what I want to do. I like pointing my finger like that. Ian McKeg is like, he's amazing. Yeah, he's a very right. inspirational speaker as well. Like. Mm, mm. very motivational but anyways i saw this stuff and like dude this is stuff <laughs> i want to do and I, like i just saw it and it was appealed so much to me so anyways i'm gonna have to get my hands on that book to be to be honest like yeah i got it for uh, 20 bucks 20 us bucks what <laughs> so this is a. Uh, anyways back to the sketchbook this is tw january 2018 so what is it now March? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I got this sketchbook at, uh, if you happen to live in Denmark, you can get these at the Flying Tiger. And they're really cheap. I think they're like equivalent to like six or seven bucks US. And the paper is really nice for uh, ink. I like them. I bought two. So. I like how it's square. Yeah. And I can draw across That's nice. And yeah. then so I'm drawing like dogs and stuff like that, stylizing, you know. Yeah, you make stylizing stuff look fun, but I never, I don't, well, I, I do it to a certain extent, but I don't think I could do that much stylization, man. I <laughs> try it. And then here's yeah, the, I need to try it. Like, check it out with, like, the design, industrial design. <laughs> shoe fetish. Shoe fetish. Nah, very cool. Trainer fetish. I like the bottom right one with the upturn uh, front bit. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think it's, they're actually upturned in real life, but I drew on upturn. Those yeah, are should Ad be. Adidas NMDs, I believe. Which stands for Nomad. Oh. I know really too much <laughs> about these stuff, this stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just some cool shapes and stuff. I really like this guy down here. Like nice him. arm. Nice arm. In the middle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's, been, uh, you know, he's working that. Got the uh, cross arm shaped uh, tricep. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, this is like armors. I, this is sketching. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, so pretty much all I did in Denmark was wake up and draw, and then we went to eat. <laughs> but it was comfy and chill, you know? I don't, I don't go to Denmark to. Uh, I didn't go to Denmark to like see all the sites and stuff. I just went to hang out with some friends. That sounds so, good, man. Like, yeah. So, love these swords. What have you done? Yeah. Nice. Those swords are really cool. Oh, okay, look, 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 look. Yeah. yeah. Nice little details you put in there. It's nice. You balance the shapes up very well. You've got a good. Uh... I don't know if you're conscious about when you design those things and you're just scribbling around, but they, they all look good. <laughs> oh, thank you. The more. Sweet. Nice pompadour on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the shades of this guy. She's really cool over here. Yeah. <laughs> this is all with uh, uh, high tech C. I think I have one here. Uh, yes, that pen. Yeah. So, the pen of dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so it's high tech C. I believe it's uh, three millimeters. I have a two twenty five here. This is way too thin, so I don't really use this. Uh, I would like to draw something. Up. I just use a um, regular box handy. Um, Biro. Biro. <laughs> Ooh, man. Oh, here's some more stuff. Cool, a Moomin. <laughs> yeah, that's like Punish Moomin, like Dark Soul Moomin. Like, uh, yeah, this, is, dude. this is like a girl I saw at uh, the bar. I was like, man, she's wearing a really cool cardigan, so I drew her. Nice. Did you approach Lady? I did not approach the Lady. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Uh, some more. Very cool, nice. I like uh, the cowboy hat. Yeah, thank you. Oversize. Some horses. This is a thick horse. 
Yeah, uh, I was going to say. Right, nice stylization. This is me. The one on the left, yeah, like, I like the, that. The emo horse. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these, you know, I'm definitely gonna go back and just paint, like, all scanning yeah, them and then a um, young foal, <laughs> listening to a uh, emo foal, listening to foal, listening out to boy. the foal, <laughs> the foal, the foal out boy. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> too much. We're definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> Some more. Like she's really emo emotional. Don't worry, we're almost done. I like to do the it's sword. Okay. On this it's okay to cry. That's right, man. Sword on this one is sick. Yeah, that was very cool. Some witches. Mushroom hat. Oh, oh it's a like soldier. Nice. I believe this is from like a a statue or something like that. So as you can see, I draw like all sorts of things. It's like no, yeah, your variety is like a lot. There's a lot of things going on. It doesn't just stop at like kind of furries and girls. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> this is more kind of like old guys here. Nice, um, nice. The pen was like running out of ink or something like that. Is this why it kept creating like this really cool effect? Uh, some armor. <laughs> I, I throw so many arms. Um, yeah, I throw so many like fires away. You look inside, and there's like there's, there's so much ink, but it's either dried out or yeah, it's all gummed up. Right? <laughs> this one's cool here. Yeah, I it like looks it. like a. Oh, the one on the the left, top left, looks like a kind of older <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like a. Um, who's that guy in Harry Potter who's like he try to teach the light, but he's actually the bad guy? Can't oh, the the one with the the turban. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> cool nice. stuff here. Oh, this is a study from. Uh, w I really like. I forgot who it was, but here are a lot of mushrooms and a study of a uh, someone's character. Someone drew a boar. I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. like how he did the design. Some anatomy studies. Just go back. Some, occasionally, I'll just go back and do some anatomy studies. I don't know. I'll be really like that. No, that's cool, man. It like, really like, backs up what you're trying to do. You've got to know the, know the real stuff before you Stop break. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. Well, I guess you don't. I, I don't know. Do you? I don't know. I don't know. That's like... The, I don't know. <laughs> There's like... Uh, it's hard to, I, I don't want to like begin some age on the like, argument with how to draw. Like, there's no right or wrong way. <laughs> Just whatever you think will help you mm. create your final image. Right. So I like these stylizations. Same the same character, but like different stylizations. Some boots. It's like some nice. like a charm here. Her, some like kind of chunky like squish squash boots. <laughs> And that's it for the song. So this one I, I, I'm dedicating as a... I think I'm also going to do oil painting on this one too. That's my excuse for why it's so many blank pages. Anyways. Yeah. Have fun with the oil painting stuff. Tell me how you get, get on with that. Because I've tried it before, but... I, I literally I had to stop because I was like stinking up the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. So this is a, a newer one. This one I bought in February, early start of February, uh, I bought it at Art Supply Warehouse. I believe this is in Westminster in uh, California. Westminster. It's Westminster, okay. Westminster. And then, uh, yeah, I really like it because it's actually tone paper. So here's the start. Oh yeah, proceed. So let me get those, those right there. Oh, that looks like someone from the home. Yeah. Who's that? Um... Lucille? Yeah. <laughs> and then some more stuff. Look at that. So actually, I like the tone paper because you can go in and use the uh, colored pencil. That's oh, yeah. Uh, Give that color extra color level of depth. So. Yeah. Cool. Look at, so this is like uh, more shape studies with fishes and stuff. Oh, that's lovely, man. Uh, 
oh, this guy got a good whiff of something. I don't know what, but he's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this one's cool down here. Nice moon, top, top right guy. Man. That's the girl, yeah. yeah. Nice That's mood. <laughs> so some bugs and sex. You know, it's just some, maybe I can get some shapes and stuff. This is some more life drawing stuff. I, I was warming up, drawing mm -hmm. people up by drawing. This guy's like this <laughs> super snazzy pose, it's like sparkles and stuff like that. <laughs> I find that I draw a lot better if I, I if I have a smaller sketchbook and I'm doing life drawing. So I think I do a lot more line stuff, so it fits better. Like the scale scales down better. I don't know if that's the right word. Not entirely sure what you mean because I always struggle with fitting stuff in like a small. That's A5, is it? Yeah, it's A5. Yeah, feels too small. <laughs> I'm just trying to do like some cool overlap so it looks cool in the sketchbook and stuff like that. Yeah, man, you're going right over the both pages like, like no one's business. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I don't like about the sketchbook, it doesn't lay flat, so it's kind of hard to... So a lot of the times I'm, yeah. holding, I'm holding it like this to draw, it's kind of, kind of annoying. They do make a flat version of the sketchbook. I would, I should have gotten that. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save two or three bucks. <laughs> uh, I like this one here. He's, like, he's doing like a kung fu pose. <laughs> well, this guy's definitely athletic. He could like hold some crazy poses. How did you get to draw him out that pose? Well, this, looking this down. Like, uh, this were you like standing on a table or? This one here? <laughs> the one on the right. This one here. Oh, oh that, yeah. yeah. This one? Oh, I totally did this from my imagination. I was, look, I was imagining that I was looking like down here. I do that quite a bit. Like, yeah. I, I kind of project myself up here. I, yeah, I try and turn a figure and I try and like kind of switch up the camera a bit, but that's, yeah, that's damn good, man. Thank you. This is like, Different stylizations, this manly face. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Kind of looks like Chuck Norris, a gazoom type. Oh, thank you. This one looks like he got <laughs> shot or something like that. Like, oh, I just thought he was dancing. <laughs> he was holding a dancing pose. Uh, this one's him sitting down. And lying down. I like this one. This one's very, uh, uh, Tom of Finland, like I don't know who know that is. Don't Google it. Tom. <laughs> okay, it's very <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Oh, I like this face here. Very cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're all very serious, you know, like kind of faces they pull at life drawings, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's easier to hold like a serious face, like you know, like <laughs> to concentrate. I don't know, because maybe they'll just concentrate on holding the serious face. Some people just stare yeah. at a point in the wall. Some people say that like they. they I mean, like, yeah, I guess they've got to plan it out a little bit, like and not overwork themselves. They're there for a while. This is like a a knight, a, like a chameleon knight. It's got like a mustache, rocking, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. This is fish. More fishes. More fish shapes. I had a I had a goldfish like that before with a big lump on his forehead. It was like a tumor or something. Ouch. Uh, Live for ages. <laughs> yeah, these are from imagination. Because for my fishes I did before, I was just playing with shapes. Uh, this is a self portrait. This is pretty accurate. Yeah. I don't know about these two. Oh, nice man. I like the little circle of nostrils. Very effective. Oh, yeah, I started using that quite a bit. <laughs> vampire, kind of like a goofy vampire. Like the opposite of the sexy vampire, he's kind of like goofy. <laughs> you know, like the sexy vampires, right? Of, of course, course, man. Yeah, that uh, needs to be brought, brought to attention, attention a bit more. Like, kind of, we've got to stop, stop over realizing the way we draw like cool shit. You know, yeah. cool shit can be goofy, nerdy stuff. That's right. Yes. Some more girls, cat girls. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, this is a uh, life drawing, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that's great, man. Like, very good, like dance poses. 
good yeah, nipple to boob ratio. ratio. Ah, yes, quite. quite. Did you it's exaggerate? Yeah, I always make the nipples larger because I don't know. It, 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 it just looks good. Like I, I can't explain it. It just looks good. I think it's, it's a very, very, very like primitive, primitive human thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is when I started like, oh, I want to try out pastel. Check it yeah. out. <laughs> nice. Uh, smudgy, smudgy. Some more pastel stuff. Yeah. It's kind of hard because the pastel pencils don't have a fine tip. Oh, okay. Oh, and so I think those are better suited if I went back to a giant, like, uh, newsprint sketchbook. It's like some that one's awesome, awesome, man. And then there's this one over here. Yeah, that's, that's very good. good. Thank you. This is life drawing again because I'm drawing people at life drawing. <laughs> that's how you know it's life drawing. <laughs> I warm up by drawing people. Uh, this one's cool here. It's like an older lady, but she's still very fit. But you can her muscle since when you get older, your skin gets thinner. You can see the muscle gets. Oh, you can tell, yeah, 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 like kind of falls away from the muscle a bit. Yeah. I think it's called sag. 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 <laughs> yeah. Some more. So I was using the. So what, um, <clears throat> what like uh, general tips would you uh, give for your approach in drawing a like a figure from imagination? Draw. Where would you Where would you start? Try to get think about the weight of the. I guess I try to think about the weight of the figure first, right? So let me get to yeah. this page. So if I was drawing this, I would try to think about yeah. the weight of the figure, and then I think about the overall silhouette, and I kind of start at the major forms first. So I would probably draw this. The hips first and then uh -huh. i'll do like a quick two lines here for where the body gets yeah, to yeah, the yeah. End in the rib cage i'll draw like i'll do that and then i'll do this and then i don't know just go for there like kind of like bring your image from the fog right but then mm. you also in your head you're thinking about okay maybe i should add a little bit more twist right a little bit off more contrast because even though those aren't like those are things so contrast is something that you can use to add like visual interest yeah. in, your, in your drawing. So visual interest, I think a lot of people, I mean, going back to contrast, I think a lot of people would think contrast is like black, darker or lighter, right? How oh, there, there are so many points, points of contrast, contrast like depth cues, cues, you know, like, yeah. you can, like an overlap yeah. or like, like contour lines, lines or whatever. Yeah. There's so yeah. many ways yeah. you can. Yeah, like big, small, straight, curved, Oh, okay. Yeah. So you mean you can do contrast of actual, like, types of line you can use? Yeah. So I mean, if I took a yeah, took the pencil out and I was drawing like maybe it's kind of hard to see. Um, Ooh, live demo. I was drawing a circle, and I wanted to say, oh, I want to contrast this with a bigger circle in the back, right? And it's overlapping. First of all, you yeah. can tell this one's smaller because you're contrasting with something that's bigger, right? Yeah. And then you could tell that this is in front by the way it overlaps here, right? So that's like two, that's like you're using like three contrasts there, right? And if you want to do, you can do contrast by saying this is a little bit, this line's a little bit lost, right? This line's a little bit down. I keep breaking nice. the line, so. so that's another level of contrast you're adding there, right? And then yeah, now you're edges. saying this, this, yeah, edges. So this object is more solid than this object, right? Or it could be that this object is way further in the back, right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know, just something to think so about. So those like it's kind of, like, um, those are those fundamentals, are fundamental, I guess, you know, like, like kind of fly into your mind, like on while you're drawing. You right. Like think about those or do you just. Yeah. It just comes to not. mind. You're like, oh, hey, this, yeah. this, this area. That's how it is with me, like kind of. And you kind of like switch off in a way, but no, I don't know. Right. No, I know exactly how you mean. Like, I don't plan anything, right? I just try to sketch yeah. out my ideas and then try to use these visual, these things to help define visual, like, acuity, I guess, clarity. Uh -huh. And yeah. then you can just use it, like, contrast, things like contrast, gesture, balance, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is like, 
<laughs> I think I went to the Norton Simon with one of my friends. This is from like last week, I believe, or maybe two weeks ago. And there was this really, it was really cold here in LA. It's probably like seven or six degrees. And it was like really, this European guy, he was like, okay, he's like, European guy complaining about the cold. He's like, I thought LA was supposed to be warm. Ah. Oh man, I'd be mad if I went over and then experience a little bit of heat. Cool. <laughs> you guys are just complainers. Oh. I like this one here. This is like a longer life drawing. But I was using the tone to like kind of like define the, the shadows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're playing around a little bit with like temperature, temperature now as well. Yeah. With those uh, color pastels, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then a bit. I believe this is just graphite, yeah. I use a little bit of that white tone. Then more fishes! So this is also from two weeks ago. I was drawing with a, a friend that visited from Texas. Texas. Sweet. So, all these are from Dodge. Big, big, big bull guys. guys. Yeah. <laughs> these are also guys from uh, people from the, at the museum. Just style oh, like a guy looks like a fish. Top right. This one here? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, this is also like dry. So. Uh, that's, that's nice. nice. I use the huge pastel. It's like all of my fingers now. I use a pastel <laughs> stick. To like kind Get of some hairspray. <laughs> hairspray, that thing. Hey, you gotta save hairspray for your hair. Come on. <laughs> this is like some of your stuff. Practicing a uh, perspective figure. Perspective. Yeah, it's very cool. You, you go into it very directly, which I've noticed. And you, yeah, you do all the things you spoke about, like the kind of gesture and the weight kind of thing. Like this oh, really good. It's been amazing, man. Like kind of just journeying through like years of your sketches. I just feel like I've absorbed so much information in a short period of time. Uh, you saw through my life. Yes, man. I've inside look in uh into the genius of uh Le Leslie Karen. And this is the last. So I started using like this blue. I got some blue colored lead. Yep. And. Then I, st I was going to do it and I tend to just go over with uh, like pencil, but I'm like, hey, I have these brush pens. Let's just bring out the brush pen again. And so I did that. I'm like, hey, this could use some highlights. So I brought out the pastels and then these are like some studies I did in bone. I've never actually learned bone structure. So this is my first time learning it. I feel like I can use some of that. Like, I guess I've never, kind of yeah, gone, gone into it that um, deeply or like kind of accurately to draw bones. I kind of just draw the gesture of how they fit inside the yeah. in the body. And so yeah, like I, I generally know how they look, but it's, yeah. it's it's just fun to know, you know. And I'm also learning like uh I'm learning French. So the book I have is actually in French. So I'm oh, writing cool. all the words yeah. in French. It's That's Morpho, cool. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Morpho, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a really cool book. I, I just happened to run into when I was at the art bookstore. But yeah, very it's, cool. Uh, it's cool though. I think there's something cool to say. Yeah, <laughs> the, the humorous connects to the uh, the <laughs> no. the, ra the radius, the radii, the <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, and then the cubia, the cubia. I don't know, whatever. But I kind of like the style. It's like a uh, no, that kind of drawing style is like very um, um reminds me of an old art teacher I had. He um. He stopped, he stopped working, working at the school, school and um, the last I saw of him, like years later, he was in like the local paper, uh -huh. and he was, he was drawing every single object, even like the tiny screws and all the tools in his old granddad's uh, shed. Yeah. And he's, uh, I think, I'll link you his website like later on, but he's drawn like over ten thousand different objects and filled up sketchbooks like in that same similar style. So. How are you just drawing? It's fucking crazy. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, he's a legend though. He's an absolute legend. Yeah. All right. So, a bit of a uh, Ghibli background there. Yeah, well, we're not going to see it because I'll be uh, editing it, but... Nice of you to join me today, Ann. What do you think? What do you think of the, the sketchbooks and everything? 
Man, you've just blasted me with like years of your work. So thinking is like pretty crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, so many sketchbooks. It's just like, yeah. It's insane, man. Like beautifully insane. I, yeah, what a journey. I personally think the best way to get good at drawing is just draw a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot. And just keep going. Don't stop. Just gonna keep going and going. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Take, take take a few breaks, breaks in between. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't so try and do a uh, six or seven drawings in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh. But anyways, thanks for joining me. It's fun having cool. you. Cool, nice being here, man. Good yeah, to chat to you finally. Definitely do. We're gonna do the sketch and chat for sure. I'd like to pick. Oh yeah, sure, from, man. So I think you've got to record something and then I'll mm. I'll chat with you. Yeah, yeah, it's been groovy, man. Nice chilling with you. Groovy. Groovy.